Uh, New York State, one of the worst in the country for tax climate. Tackling taxes and reversing New York's population loss. The governor says the alarm is sounding this after 300,000 people left the state in 2020. Tonight, 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley looking into what's being done to stop this exodus. Buffalo is a great place and it's always going to be home. A lot of Buffalo love adorns the walls of Mike Carroll's home in Atlanta, Georgia. He left Buffalo six years ago. His story is just one of many highlighting the state's population decline, which started years ago. In fact, since 2010, more than one million people have left the state. The biggest reason, taxes. Taxes on goods and services and state income tax rates. What's the difference there for you, though? Is it is it better in Georgia? Well, let me just say this. Your paycheck will go farther. Uh, state income tax is about 25% less. Um, sales tax is about 25% less. Property taxes are about one third. So you're, there's no question that your um, that your paycheck does go farther. Experts say many New Yorkers head to states like Florida and Texas, where there is no state income tax. New York State one of the worst in the country for tax climate. Justin Wilcox is executive director for Upstate United, an organization that has been sounding the alarm on the massive population loss of more than 300,000 New Yorkers in 2020 alone. You can't continue to have an anti-business climate and not expect businesses and those that have the means to move not to do so. Wilcox says he's pleased Governor Hochul is acknowledging this and that she is looking to create an economy that is more business and worker friendly. Hochul is now looking to create a workforce development program and also expand brownfield cleanup. It's a win-win, removes these toxic sites uh, from communities and turns them into tax producing uh, you know, properties again. It's just complicated and especially, you know, just the, the federalized system of how the United States works. But State yeah. Assemblyman Patrick right. Burke says population loss and gains must be examined closely and he cautions those leaving because of higher taxes. If people can, uh, you know, avoid income tax and avoid, avoid some environmental regulations and go to a state like Florida where it's warm, uh, what do you do? Do you is it a race to the bottom? Do you just go to like we'll do as little regulation as possible? We'll we'll protect as few people as possible, and screw it because we're worried about uh, population loss. I don't think we can do that. Eileen Buckley, Seven News. Now on the flip side, for the first time in 70 years, Buffalo has an increase in its population. U.S. Census data released back in August showed a six and a half percent increase in the Queen City's population. That was the biggest growth since the 1950 census.